Hey guys, forgive the hat and sleeves, but it was really hot today. In fact, my truck right now, my truck right now says 99 degrees. So it's warm. The video I have for you was almost all the information I have was the tenant telling me that she heard ice breaking and then she heard some of it fall and she had water on her floor. That's all the evidence I had. And then I'm looking to see why it was freezing up. Stay tuned. Just running? Uh-huh. It, it, it finally cooled down some. Then when it cooled down, that's when I cut it off. After we found the water in there. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. <laughs> Lay down, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's Okay, the blower is working. She said it's been freezing up. Well, she described hearing ice. All right, I didn't find anything inside. But she described what sounded like um, ice crackling and breaking up when it turned off and water on the floor. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, before I go deep into this, let's just check pressures. Well, that sounded rough. All right, let's see what we got. One forty nine. It is like seventy eight degrees in there. Doesn't seem to be anywhere near freezing.
I did see a little bit of extra water in the drain pan. I think that's all it was. Okay, drain was not clogged either and what she was describing sounded like ice breaking and then falling in the return um there is one more thing that's pretty common on these and uh control boards often fail wait a minute that one's used I can't it's got a broken spade here I can't use that so why don't we use a um why don't we use a relay That'll do. All right, we're gonna bypass the board and use a relay. Well, would you look at here? We already have a 9340 in here. Hmm. I doubt that has failed. to be a 10. Let's see what we got. Alright, so we're back out here. Let's check the contactor. And I can't see it. That's one we installed a few months ago. clean
thing is nowhere remotely close to freezing up. So why would it freeze up? Another thing she said um, was like she couldn't get it to run on auto, but she turned it on own and then it finally came on. Y'all know she's talking about the um, blower motor. So the other thing could be the thermostat. Is it not calling for the fan every time it's calling for cooling? Right now it is. That's where my next suspicion lies. All right, after playing with the thermostat a little bit when I switched it from on to auto, I could hear it bumping and it should not have. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the thermostat kind of preemptively to help prevent this problem from happening again. Right now, that's the only thing I could find that might be wrong. So the thermostat's not calling for the fan sometimes when it's calling for cooling. All right, so I hooked up the new thermostat. Everything's running flawlessly. That's one of those where you just, I didn't want to leave her and say, hey, if this happens again, turn it on and see if it comes on and then tell me and I'll come back. This time of year, I don't want to have to come back for any reason. So um, I went ahead and preemptively just replaced the thermostat. I didn't find anything else that could be wrong. And that was my kind of like process of elimination down to the thermostat. The only other thing that could possibly make that happen is the thermostat wire. But um, I do believe that the blower had stopped. And when I was moving it from auto to own, it was in cool mode and it was running and it would stop for just a second and then switch back on it never should have it never should have bumped at all it should have just been on all the time because y'all saw i had a 9340 relay it just should have been energized the entire period so that's why i went ahead and thought let's just go ahead and replace the thermostat and hopefully we won't we won't have to go back thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you on the next one